The Air Capsule Pack Max is a travel bag that has been designed in conjunction with Nine Hours, a Tokyo capsule hotel group. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you always get notifications whenever we post a new video. We've been testing this bag for three weeks around Detroit, Michigan, putting it through its paces fully loaded up. And it is important to note that there's also a smaller 35 liter version of this bag that we have been testing as well. We have that linked over on the site so you can check that out if you'd like. However, in this review, we are going to focus specifically on the Max version. Make sure to visit packhacker.com to see the full written review as well as the best buying options for this bag that support the channel at no additional cost to you. We'll leave a link in the description below. Let's dive in and check out this pack. The main opening on this bag has a very similar style and shape to that you see on capsule hotels in Japan, specifically the ones from Nine Hours. Basically, these are little tiny hotel rooms designed for short stays on business or just staying over in a city after a late night of work when the Tokyo trains have stopped. Air has captured the function and the visual essence quite nicely here, and it goes along well with the partnership. Regarding the materials and typical air fashion, it does not disappoint. The main fabric on this bag is a 1680 denier Cordura nylon. This is a great choice for a bag and is super durable. If you're familiar with other air products, they use this fabric on just about everything. We think this type of fabric makes a lot more sense on a large travel bag in comparison to a smaller travel wallet. At the time of this review, the Capsule Max comes in one color, black. There's also some very minimal branding going on in this bag. You can see logos on the zipper pulls and the side of the bag as well. Generally, we like the look of this bag. Since it's a new release, we did not get a chance to pull our Instagram audience yet, but that poll is going on right now over at Pack Hacker on Instagram. If you wanna be involved in that poll, we would love to have your vote. We'll make sure to add the results to the webpage after the poll is over in about a day or two. Wrapping up the rest of the materials on this bag, we have durable YKK zippers that are weather resistant. We have some nitpicks with these in some areas on the pack, but more on this later in the review. We've also brought this up in other reviews, but these zipper pulls themselves can be a little bit jingly and noisy. We also have durable Duraflex hardware used throughout the bag, and this is a great choice. Starting with the harness system, it is fully functional and still minimal. At the top, we've got load lifters that help combat saggy carry. These are great to have at a 40 liter size and even nice on the smaller 35 liter size. It makes the carry much more comfortable if you dial it in right. The straps themselves have two layers of padding. The first being a very cushiony air mesh that's comfortable and promotes breathability. The other is a pretty dense layer of foam that rounds out the strap design. These straps are also edgeless, which makes the carry a little bit more comfortable. Moving down, the sternum strap is attached well enough to the bag to where it's not going to fall off. However, it is still easy to remove it if you'd like. On the wearer's left-hand side, there is a D-ring towards the top of the sternum strap. These are always handy to have around if you want to attach a piece of gear with a carabiner or a clip, definitely handy. Moving down the straps, we have durable Duraflex strap adjusters that nicely adjust the straps based on how you want to wear them. And below that, we have a small elastic loop to help manage excess strap. Right below that, we have a Duraflex buckle that detaches the shoulder straps from the bag and make them easy to stow away. There are also two nylon tabs for a hip belt. We think the size and the padding of Air's hip belt is just about perfect for urban travel. It's padded enough and gives some great support, but it is not super large and unwieldy. One note, as we've been testing this, we found it a little bit tight when wearing all of our winter layers outside in Detroit. The pro here is that there are less dangling straps, but the con, if you're a larger person, it'll be harder to utilize, and if you're wearing a bunch of winter layers, it'll be harder to utilize as well. The entire harness system can detach and be stowed behind the back panel of the bag. The clips at the bottom of the bag also stow away to create a nice clean carry experience. You'll also want to sew the straps if you plan on checking the bag or carrying it in the other two carry modes. The back panel has some nice air mesh to help promote breathability as much as possible on a bag that is this large and heavy. There's also a strip of nylon in the back that functions as a luggage pass-through, so if you have some roller luggage and you wanna stick this on top, that'll work great. It also functions as a handle if you wanna pick it up from here as well. 
Lastly, there is a small nylon loop at the top of the bag, so it can be hung up if needed. The other two carry modes offered in this bag are briefcase and messenger mode. For briefcase mode, you basically just hide the shoulder straps and you are good to go. This carry works a little bit better than we initially thought for two immediate reasons. The first, the padded grab handle is properly anchored across the bag and doesn't pull a bunch of excess fabric like we've seen in other bags. At the same time, the bag remains pretty structured and has still a clean look even when carrying it from the handle, which we love. Second, the frame sheet on the back of the bag really helps keep the bag structured because it's so stiff and robust. Not only is this comfortable to wear in backpack mode, but it is great for briefcase and messenger mode as well. For messenger mode, simply attach the messenger strap to the two D-rings on the bag. We think this bag is a little bit large to carry in this way, but your mileage may vary. It's a little more fitting for the smaller version of this pack. The shoulder strap itself attaches with Duraflex buckles and has some nice padding on the straps, similar to these shoulder straps in the bag. It's comfortable once you get adjusted right. One gripe that we have with it is that the padding is a little bit narrow in terms of width. Other bags will have a really long amount of padding on there or they'll opt for a smaller padding that can slide around so you don't have to constantly adjust each side and get it on your shoulder exactly right. The pro here is a clean look, but the con is that it can be a little bit finicky to adjust. Opposite of the side of the D-rings and handles, you'll see a nice little water bottle pocket. While not in use, it zips flat to the bag. When you do unzip, it creates a nice tall compartment for bottles. Just note you are not going to fit your Nalgene in here though. On the top of the bag, you'll see another nicely padded handle, similar to the side handle. One thing to note here is that bags of this style that are kind of backpack and duffel mode will typically offer handles on both sides of the bag so that you can have the bag open and easily cart it around as you're loading it. It's not really the case here with the Air Capsule Pack Max, and we would have liked to have seen that feature here as it does make this style of bag a little bit better to use. It's not the biggest deal, but even something like the nylon webbing that we've seen on the back panel could be really useful on the bottom of the bag just to have something else to grab onto to cart this thing around with two hands. On the rest of the bag, you will see various smaller pieces of webbing. These are actually areas that you can grip onto as you're zipping and unzipping the bag. You can also attach smaller items with a carabiner if you'd like. Moving on to the inside of the pack, starting with the quick access pocket at the top. This offers a lay flat, self-stopping, weather-resistant YKK zipper, which promotes a clean look. There's also a nice zipper garage at the end that helps keep out excess water. Opening the pocket, it is pretty much the same size as the sewing pattern you see on the outside of the bag. Inside, there is some really nice foam padding that feels great to the touch and will help protect your gear. We're really digging this liner, it just feels really nice, and we haven't seen it in any other bags yet. Next up, the larger organization pocket at the top of the bag. The slightly angled zipper on the sides opens up to reveal ample space for organization. The top part of the pocket offers nice stretchy mesh and a zippered compartment. This goes across the entire top pocket and has a great amount of stretch to accommodate items of different sizes. We dig that this is zippered, meaning the items inside will stay nice and secure and always be there if the bag gets jostled around in transit. There's also a nice little key clip inside to hold keys. Really nothing too special, it's a pretty basic key clip, but it gets the job done. Below that zippered pocket, we have a nice open space to hold additional items like tech pouches or other things that you want quicker access to. Below that, we have three liner pockets. The very bottom one goes the full width of the pack, and the two on the top are split halfway down the middle. Keep in mind that these liner pockets are not zippered, and we have had a bit of trouble depending on the items we put inside, with them falling out into the main compartment of that pocket and not staying super organized. Larger items are just fine, but if you want anything smaller, it may slide around, so just note that. Onto the laptop compartment, which is against the wearer's back. We have a zipper that opens up about a third of the way on the wearer's right and two thirds of the way down on the wearer's left. The laptop compartment also has that really nice padded material that we've seen at the top on the quick access pocket already. There's also a false bottom to hold your laptop, which we really dig. So it's important to note that the original version of the Air Travel Pack 2 did not have this, and they've recently rolled it out on the new version of the Air Travel Pack 2. We love that they're following suit with the new Capsule Pack Max as well. In front of that laptop compartment, there is another liner divider pocket that's good for tablets or things like documents. You also have a pretty large open space if you wanna put maybe a really large 17 inch laptop inside that won't fit in that laptop suspension pocket 
or just other documents, other flat items that you wanna have that just don't fit into those other two pockets. Next up, we have that main compartment that is shaped like a capsule door. Now, this is where the AquaGuard zippers become a pretty big problem. Due to the rounded path of the zipper and the bag having little structure, these zippers are very tricky to unzip, even if you're holding those nylon loops. Contrast this with the laptop compartment towards the back of the bag that leans on that really stiff frame sheet. It is way easier to get undone because the zipper just stays in the same place and doesn't really move around. So yes, the AquaGuard zippers can be tricky to zip and unzip, especially on this main compartment. That's probably our biggest gripe on the bag. The pro of AquaGuard zippers is that they help a lot with weather resistance, but the con is that they can be sticky and trickier to zip. Once we do get that compartment open, there's a ton of space on the interior of this bag. We would definitely recommend getting some packing cubes with this bag as it is pretty much a giant empty space. Air does sell them that will fit in here quite nicely. However, there's really nothing special about the ones that Air sells, and there's a massive variety of packing cubes out there that we think are a little bit better. So make sure to go check out our guide on how to choose the best packing cubes for you. We'll link that up in the description below as well. The top flap here also has a nice zippered mesh area for additional organization. Maybe you wanna put some socks and underwear in there or a hoodie, a jacket, something of that nature. The mesh here is a little bit stiffer than we've seen on the top, which makes total sense because if you had that stretchy mesh here, it would kind of just fall apart as you started loading it up. So a stiffer mesh here for the larger volume makes sense. At the time of this review, we have been testing the Air Capsule Pack Max for about three weeks in Detroit, Michigan. We've had it filled out to the brim with packing cubes for testing and have also used it about half full just to test it like that as well. In both cases, the bag is held up really well. And one of the things that we love about this compared to other similar kind of hybrid bags is that even when empty, it really keeps its shape. And that stiff frame sheet just makes it a joy to carry no matter how much is inside. You really can't say this about a lot of other bags that have this similar style to them. This bag has been used while biking in the rain and the snow and just getting all that dirt and slush and salt kicked up onto it. Overall, it's wiped off pretty easily and pretty well and everything inside has stayed dry in a lighter shower. Although the bag is weather resistant, you may need to grab a rain cover if you plan on staying out in the rain for a long time. The hip belt has made this thing very comfortable to carry both on the bike and while walking around. And so far we have no durability issues and everything appears to be holding up really nicely after the three weeks of testing. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, starting with the pros, there is a great blend of organization and open space on this bag. The harness system is very comfortable and still retains a minimal look. We like the versatile modes of carry and each of them actually work pretty well. Onto some of the cons, the YKK AquaGuard zippers are sticky, which is more noticeable in some areas of the bag than others. The zipper pulls are jingly and can be loud while the bag is in use. Lastly, your stuff can fall out of the non-zippered organization pockets at the top when switching between carry modes. The Air Capsule Pack Max offers a refreshing take on a one bag travel pack, giving you a great blend of organization and open space, which is exactly what we like to see on a travel backpack. Accessing that organization and open space, however, can be slow due to the sticky YKK AquaGuard zippers, especially on the main compartment. The harness system is comfortable and streamlined. Plus, this bag is versatile. You can switch it into briefcase and messenger mode for different styles of carry. Overall, this bag has been a great experience so far, and if you can stomach the sticky zippers, this bag may be a solid choice for your travel needs. So there you have it, our review of the Air Capsule Pack Max. As always, we would love to hear what you think of this bag in the comments below, and thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.